To give an object an outline, first click on it, and then you need to choose this square that has a hole in it. Once you click on that square, you can choose the color of the outline. And this outline, you can see now it has a very thin outline on it. This outline is referred to as the stroke, and the thickness of that outline is referred to as the stroke weight. And we can adjust the thickness by clicking on the object and going to the Windows menu and choosing Stroke. Okay, this brings up the Stroke menu, and the weight is here. You can choose the weight or the thickness of the stroke here. You can also use this drop-down menu to jump to higher numbers quickly or lower numbers quickly if you need to. And then you can also just plug the number in here if you want. You can also tell it that you want it to be dashed by clicking here. And you can tell the dashes how long they should be here. And you can also tell it if you want pointed edges or rounded edges here. Okay, and then something I'd like to mention is that depending on how your preferences are set up, the stroke may not scale with the object. So if I go and resize this, you can see in this case the stroke did not scale with it. It stayed the same, so it appears to have a thicker stroke on it now. Like especially if I zoom in, you can really see what I'm talking about. It changed the way it looks altogether. Well, you may not want it to change the way it looks. So if you don't, go to um, Edit, choose Preferences, and then General, and then choose Scale Strokes and Effects. And this allows the um, stroke weight to scale along with the object. So now if I go to this object and I scale it down, you can see that the stroke scales with it. So now if I zoom in, it looks exactly the same as it did when it was larger.